Blue Bloods has taken the television world by a storm, and with the cash being worth so much in terms of money, we expected nothing less. We mean, the show is entering its 11th season. Has it been that long already? Anyway, we wanted to know and look into what the actors and the crew were up to behind the scenes of Blue Bloods. We did some investigating and compiled this video for you, so I hope you enjoy. These are the Blue Bloods behind the scenes moments nobody knew about. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you do not miss any of the new videos that we post. Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods is an American police procedural drama television series that has been airing on CBC since September 2010. Its main characters are members of the fictional Reagan family, an Irish American Catholic family in New York City with a history of work in law enforcement. Blue Blood stars Tom Selleck as New York City Police Commissioner Frank Reagan. Other cast members include Donnie Wahlberg, Bridget Moynihan, Will Estes, and Len Carreau. For all 10 seasons, Plus, Amy Carlson, seasons 1 to 7, and Sammy Gale, seasons 1 to present, but played Marlene Lawson in the pilot episode. The show is filmed on location in New York City with occasional references to nearby suburbs. The series debuted on September 24, 2010, with the episodes airing on Fridays following CSI New York, before being moved to Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific Time after 9 p.m. Central and Mountain Time for a four-week tryout. After four weeks, it returned to its original Friday, 10 p.m., Eastern time slot where it has remained since. In May 2020, CBS renewed the series for an 11th season, which premiered on December 4th, 2020. Interesting behind-the-scenes facts about the show. The following behind-the-scenes incidents and working procedures are quite interesting. Some of the actors eat the food at the dinner table. A lot of food is usually used in the iconic dinner table scenes, but what happens to it after filming is done? Well, some actors like Donnie Wahlberg know how not to waste food, so they eat it. When asked about it by Access Hollywood, he said, it's dinner, right? I gotta eat. Selig doesn't appear to like dinner scenes as much as Donnie. In an interview with People Magazine, he said, It's nice to spend time with the entire cast once an episode, but filming an eating scene is miserable. Well, the eating part is, you have to eat the same foods over and over again to get all the shots. We'll probably spend eight hours shooting this scene. Nearly every episode features a family dinner. Nearly each episode features a family dinner. This was at Tom Selig's request to keep a sense of family. He also states that this scene is usually one of the longest ones to shoot, the family dinner happens every Sunday around 5 to 5.30. We bet he's regretting it now, judging by the fact that he, you know, doesn't enjoy it. Danny Reagan's sons are brothers in real life. In Blue Bloods, Detective Danny Reagan, the eldest son of Commissioner Frank Reagan, has two sons named Sean and Jack. The two are actually real-life brothers. Jack is played by Tony Terraciano, while the younger Sean is played by Andrew Terraciano, respectively. Their age difference in real life is also the same in the show. The two brothers started out as childhood models before moving into acting. They landed the roles of Danny's son, when they were 8 and 6 years old. They no longer have siblings on the show. In real life, Andrew also happens to have a twin, a sister named Molly. Commissioner Reagan's house is a common location in New York. One thing that never misses in almost every Blue Bloods episode is Commissioner Frank Reagan's dinner with his family. During these gatherings, the family discusses various moral and career issues. These dinner scenes are usually filmed in a modified CBS studio, but the house's exterior is captured from a real home in Brooklyn, New York. In real life, Commissioner Reagan's house house is owned by Maronites, Middle Eastern Catholics. It's located at 870 Harbor View Terrace in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. And even though it's not open to visitors, passerbys can easily catch a glimpse of it. A former NYPD detective normally edits the script. Blue Bloods has a former NYPD detective on the payroll. His name is James Nusafaro, and he normally reviews the scripts before they're used in filming. Since he is an experienced lawman, his job is to make sure the fictional stories in the show are as close to real-life police experiences as possible. In in an interview with Country Living Magazine, Yusufaro said, Let's say they get a 56-page script. I'll give them anywhere between 5 to 10 pages of notes on the script, just plugging in dialogue with more jargon. As a result, plenty of police officers are said to be fans of the show. Star Tom Selleck was the original Thomas Magnum. There's currently a Magnum P.I. reboot airing on CBS starring Jay Hernandez. This show follows Thomas Magnum, a former Marine who has taken up a job as a private investigator in Hawaii. Magnum P.I. is also in the same universe as Hawaii 5.0. Tom Selleck, who stars 
stars as Captain Reagan in Blue Bloods played Thomas Magnum too long in a long-running 80s show of the same name. The original show ran for eight seasons, and it's where Tom Selleck made its mark as an actor. Given that Blue Bloods is currently in its 10th season, it's safe to conclude that Selleck is a lucky TV actor who always manages to get good long-term roles. Danny is played by a former popular boy band member. The new kids on the block may or may not be familiar to you depending on when you were born. The American boy band from Dorchester, Massachusetts thrilled teenagers and young adults in the 80s and 90s. It was basically the One Direction of the era. The band sold more than 80 million records worldwide. Donnie Wahlberg, who was part of the band together with Jordan Knight, Jonathan Knight, Joey McIntyre, and Danny Wood, stars as Danny Reagan in Blue Bloods. After leaving the band, Wahlberg has gone on to have a great career in film, appearing in films such as Zookeeper, The Sixth Sense, and The Saw franchise. The creators worked on The Sopranos. Blue Bloods was created by the married couple Mitchell Burgess and Robin Green. Their job history is quite interesting. The two wrote episodes for the TV shows Almost Grown, Northern Exposure, and Party of Five. Then they met The Sopranos creator David Chase, who they worked with previously. He hired them to write for the popular mob TV show, but disagreements soon ensued. Chase implied that they didn't understand the characters, so he fired them. They still ended up being successful. As a teenager in the 1960s, Robin Green is said to have worked as a receptionist for Marvel Comics founder Stan Lee. Tom Selleck almost ditched the mustache. As Thomas Magnum, Tom Selleck was known for his dark mustache. This gave him a macho appearance. However, during the production phase of the first season of Blue Bloods, producers wanted Tom to shave off the mustache because they figured he was a little too old for it. However, CBC executives had other ideas. They felt the mustache looked really good on him, so they let him keep it. Seems like it was a good move after all. Commissioner Reagan without a mustache wouldn't look as intimidating as he does now. Filming was about to move to Toronto. A good number of TV shows aren't actually filmed in the city or town where the story's based. This was almost the case for Blue Bloods. Even though the show is about New York City, it was almost filmed in Toronto. Due to the massive city and state taxes of New York, the show's producers feared that the budget would be too high. They thus considered moving up north where the rates were a bit favorable. Luckily, the production company managed to negotiate a deal with the state governments. As a result, Blue Bloods was allowed to film in New York. Jennifer Esposito was controversially fired for being sick. In early seasons, maybe you remember, there was a character known as Detective Jackie Curatola, who was played by Jennifer Esposito. She was a recurring member, but unfortunately, during the filming of the third season, she collapsed on the set. Esposito's doctor recommended sick leave, which she took, but CBS executives felt she was deliberately staying away from work. After she asked for lighter duties, CBS fired her. The network then issued a statement that read, quote, Jennifer has informed us that she is only available to work on a very limited part-time schedule. As a result, she's unable to perform the demands of her role, end quote. She wasn't too happy about it. Taken to Twitter, she said, CBS got rid of the only minority cast member so they can have an all-white cast like CSI. It's pretty upsetting to see that it ended like this. That's it for today. Do you know about anything else behind the scenes that we should probably know about? If so, please leave a comment. In fact, leave us a comment anyway. Until we see you again with another great video, we have to bid you adieu. We hope to see you back again. Until that happens, take care.